I'm going to make some tipsy cookies. Well, they're called tipsy cookies because there's rum involved. Although I'm not going to put them in the cookies itself. I'm going to use just rum extract in the frosting later on. And uh, you could use regular rum if you want to. It's up to you. All right, in a mixing bowl, I'm going to put one stick of softened butter. Oops. and one half cup of dark brown sugar. In all the other recipes, we used light brown sugar. This time we're using dark brown sugar. Maybe because it has the candied fruit. And we're gonna cream that. And in this little bowl, I have one eighth teaspoon each of cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and ginger. So I'm gonna add that in. And then I have two egg yolks that I'm going to add. Just let that work it out. All right, that's nice and creamed. Now I'm going to add two cups of flour and all the candied fruit. In the candied fruit, I have one half cup of mixed diced candied fruit that you buy in those little containers at this time of year. And I added to it about a quarter of a cup of finely chopped of the candied cherries to it. We'll add that in. And we're going to mix that up until it forms a nice dough. And one thing that I did forget, I'm not putting rum in the cookies, but I am putting a little bit of vanilla. So just about a teaspoon. crumbly but we're going to knead it on our board I'm going to put a little bit of flour on the board, a little bit on my pen, and just going to start rolling it out to approximately a quarter of an inch thick. And you can patch it wherever you need to. Okay, now I'm going to get myself cookie sheet. I like to use parchment paper and I've got a two and a half inch cutter here. You can use a smaller one or a larger one. I think two and a half is a generous size cookie. And just cut out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is lift these up, put them on the cookie sheet and then, oops, that one broke. We'll just re-roll it because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all the leftovers re-roll it and cut some more cookies out. Just need a little spatula here to help me lift them up so I don't break anymore. These will not spread out a lot, but do give them a little bit of room. My oven's at 350 degrees, and these will go in for approximately 15 minutes. Like I said, I'll just keep 
gathering this up, re-roll it again and fill up another sheet. I finished rolling out the tipsy cookies. Now they're going into the 350 degree oven for approximately 15 minutes. I'm going to start checking them at 13. All ovens differ. Here are our tipsy cookies out of the oven. They smell wonderful and they're lightly browned. Now I have to let them sit somewhere so they can cool down because they're way too warm. When they have cooled off to room temperature, I'll show you how to make a very simple frosting and put a little bit of a decoration on them to make them look even prettier. In this bowl, I have a cup and a half of confectioner's sugar. And as promised, I'm going to put in just a touch of rum extract. Again, you could use real rum in here if you really want to. And I'm going to start off with about a teaspoon of milk. You don't want to add too much milk to the confectioner's sugar because confectioner's sugar just really sucks up everything. and It's just going to get too oozy. So you want to put it in little by little. A little bit more. Probably up to about a tablespoon there. We just want a glaze for our cookies. A little bit. Keep adding little by little. And of course, if you get too liquidy, you can always add more confection of sugar. all over the place. That's okay. When you finish baking at the end of the day, you're covered in flour and who knows what else. That took all of that milk. That was like two tablespoons. Okay. And that's just about it. Now I also have some of these little gumdroppy kind of candies. I'm sure you're familiar with them to get at the holiday season. And I've cut some up into small pieces be used as decoration. Okay, let me get rid of my wire whisk in that. And I'm just going to do a few of these for you. And I'm going to take one of my cookies. I'm going to dip it in a little way. Let it drip off. If you don't want it to be so even, you can kind of like jig jag it down and it'll look like snow falling. And then I'm taking a piece of the red and a piece of the green. And you just let those sit for a while and that glaze will harden and you'll have some pretty cookies to put on your platter. So those are our tipsy cookies. I hope you try them. They'll make a nice pretty addition to your holiday platter.